is Master Robert Litke. I'm going to introduce you to Aikido self-defense. These techniques have been simplified, modified for street use, and will cover every practical self-defense situation you may encounter. Practice them carefully, and one day they may save your life. Thank you. Safe Escape Aikido Self-Defense Number 1 with Master Robert Litke. Pay close attention now. As the assault comes, sidestep, block with the right hand, knee, palm heel to the jaw. Watch very carefully now. Turn away from your opponent, block, knee, palm, under the jaw. here is to avoid the punch by blocking and sidestepping at the same time. If you miss the block, you'll avoid being hit. This type of confrontation goes on every day in our society. An innocent person walking down the street is assaulted. Instead of being helpless with Aikido, you know how to defend yourself. Block the assault, counter, escape, run to the police, and tell them of the incident. Watch again carefully. Move quickly. Avoid the force of the punch. Sidestep, knee to the stomach, palm to the jaw. Now let's take a close look at number two. In this situation, you're assaulted from the back. As he spins you around, you go with the turn. Use your momentum to direct him into the wall. Watch. Turn and block at the same time, directing his force into the wall. Do not turn blindly. Turn with your guard up, protecting your head area. Aikido works on the principle of centrifugal force using the opponent's own power against himself. His own momentum takes him down. All you need to do is redirect it and stay out of the striking range. Turn block. Continue your turn as a defensive move. Now let's look at number three. In this situation, you're driven into the wall, you block the strike, elbow to the back of his head. Bring your arms up in a circular movement, protecting your face, counter, elbow, and run. Safe escape. Arms up, protect your face, and counter. Use the sharp pointed end of the elbow to strike with. Redirect his force. Safe Escape, Aikido Self-Defense Number 4. Practice this tape diligently, and it may one day save your life. In this situation, you have an aggressive assailant trying to strike with multiple punches to your face. With circular downward movements, with your palm open, redirect his force. Stay out of reach. Blocking, blocking. You're countering with a short roundhouse kick into his groin or stomach. Step back with good balance. Notice how the blocks direct the force of the attacker downward. This is very important. This takes the assailant off balance, opens him up for a kick. Number five. Now, 
while defending against a kicking attack. As he kicks into your groin, again using the sidestepping movement and footwork to avoid direct contact if you miss your block. Foot sweep the assailant and run. Block sidestep, hook behind his legs with your blocking hand, flip him to the ground. It takes little effort to send him on his back. Excellent self-defense technique. <laughs> Safe Escape Aikido Self-Defense Number 6. Pay close attention to this technique. As he kicks, you sidestep, but you stay on the inside this time, stepping in, hooking his supporting leg, and at the same time, driving your palm underneath his jaw, sending him to the ground. It's a very powerful flipping motion that can render him unconscious as he hits the cement or dirt. Sidestep, staying on the inside, hook his supporting leg, palm under the jaw. Palm strike to the jaw could also fracture his jaw. Now let's move on to number seven, Aikido self-defense. This assault is from the side. He grabs your wrist. You break out by pulling your arm away and immediately countering with a back fist strike. Watch again slowly. Pull away from his grip against the thumb, which is his weakest point with a very tight fist, back knuckle to his nose or jaw. Remember, pull sharply against the thumb. It's virtually impossible for him to grab you. Even if you're a woman or child, you have the power to break from the thumb. Safe escape, Aikido self-defense, Number eight. Again, a wrist grab. In this situation, use a circular motion. Come around on top of his wrist. Secure his hand to your wrist and apply a wrist joint break. Watch again carefully. As he grabs, use a circular motion. Now hold his hand so he can't escape and you're in a situation to torque down on his wrist and break the bones. Very, very painful. It's a very quick movement, circular movement. Come down hard, using both hands to support his wrist to yours and inflict the pain and escape. Pain is unbearable. Now pay close attention to Safe Escape by Keto number nine. In this situation, he grabs both your wrists. Using outward, inward, circular motions, come down on his wrist, twist, and break away. As you grab his arms and push down, it inflicts tremendous pain on his wrist joint. Turn your hands up and around to the outside of his arms, push down, and escape. He cannot hold on. The pain is much too severe. Safe escape, number 10, a very important technique. In this situation, he grabs tightly, you twist to the outside, grabbing with your left hand and right hand, taking him to the ground. 
Watch carefully as he grabs. Twist against the thumb. This is the most important thing to break away. With your right hand, grab his wrist. Then with the left, twist the wrist, push him down, and escape. Turn his wrist and hand to the outside. Make the movement very quick and concise. Again, always break away at the thumb. It's the weakest part of his grip. Safe Escape by Keto Self-Defense, number 11. He grabs aggressively with two hands. You reach around, grab your hand for support, pull out against the thumbs and palm heel counter. Reach inward. You need the extra strength when he grabs with two hands. Pull out against the thumbs, driving hard with the palm to the jaw. <coughs> against his thumbs. There's no way he can hold you. Use all your force to come back, striking his jaw. Let's look carefully at number 12. Practice this tape diligently. Watch it every day, and the movements will become reflex. He grabs both wrists, break out against the thumbs, Back fist across his jaw. Watch again carefully. As he grabs, move inward, grab his wrist, break out. Back knuckle to the jaw or nose. Your motion is to move your arm strongly inward against his thumbs, breaking the grip. Safe Escape by Keto Self-Defense number 13. This is a real lifesaver. As he grabs both hands from behind, twist your body around and into the opponent, countering with a palm heel to the jaw. Use your momentum to turn in, breaking his grip, twisting against the thumbs and out with the counter. Turn in, twist, strike. Be constantly twisting. It's much harder for him to hold on. Yeah. Anyone can do these techniques. Just practice daily. Safe Escape by Keto Self-Defense number 14. Another assault from the rear grabs your shoulder and arm. With a circular motion, break away, counter, knee to the groin. The circular movements make it very hard for him to control you and hold on to you. Watch again. Circular movement opens him up, knee to his solar plexus, ribs, or groin area. Safe Escape by Keto Self-Defense number 15. This is an excellent self-defense technique. 
A very common assault is for someone to grab your lapel. As he does, reach around with your right arm and hand. Grab his palm. Twist his palm up to the ceiling. Lock the arm, knee into the jaw. Watch again from this angle. As the assault comes, reach over, grab under his fist, turn his palm up to the sky. As you're doing this, put leverage on the elbow. Very, very painful. Counter with a knee to the jaw, push him off, escape. Watch it again. Notice how Master Litke moves without hesitating. Again in slow motion. Torque the arm around, apply pressure to the elbow, knee into the face. Number 16, safe escape Aikido self-defense. Aikido is an excellent way to protect yourself. In this attack, he tries to choke. Master Litke ducks under, breaks away again, going against the thumbs, releasing the grip off his neck with the back of his hand, slapping into the groin as a counter. Very painful strike. Watch again. Don't hesitate. Duck under, twist out, execute your counter, escape. The groin is a vital area, it inflicts tremendous pain. It's unlikely the attacker will get up and chase you. Aikido self defense, number 17. Watch carefully. In this situation, it's a double choke from behind. Again, the twisting motion of Aikido, circular movements, makes it very hard for the assailant to hold on. It enables you to break away from his grip, counter, backhand, snap into the groin, escape. Quickly. Don't waste time. Don't hesitate. Move. The assault comes. Turn, twist away, escape and out. In a choking situation, you want to get the pressure off your neck immediately. You must keep moving, keep turning, keep twisting. Twist out, backhand, right into the groin. Number 18, safe escape, Aikido self-defense. Pay close attention to this technique. The assailant comes from behind, executes an arm bar, and holds your wrist. Break the wrist hold, using his force against himself, flip him over. Watch carefully. Twist against the thumb, grab his wrist, turn his palm up, and flip him over. A little more advanced technique. But it can be executed if you practice diligently. You should be following along at home. Do the techniques with Master Litke. Immediately break the wrist. Grab, flip. Watch in slow motion. Safe escape, Aikido self-defense. Now in this situation, the assailant again is from the back. He gets you into a full Nelson hold, very common type of attack. Break out, elbow to his jaw. Now watch the breakout. Raise your arms up, come down hard, break his grip with your elbows, 
and counter with the elbow. Simple, effective move. Up, down, strike. Really drive your elbows down hard into his arms, breaking his grip. Strong elbow across his nose and jaw will definitely wreck his day. Safe escape by keto self-defense, number 20. Another rear attack. This time it's a bear hug assault. Now this is the power of Aikido. Watch carefully. As he grabs, bring your force and momentum forward. And it sends him to the ground over your back. Step out hard with your right foot. Twist your shoulders. Send him over your back. This will break the grip and escape. easier than it looks. Number 21, safe escape by keto self-defense. Another rear assault, this time a bear hug under your arms. With your knuckles, drive down hard into the top of his hand, into the pressure point. It inflicts tremendous pain. It breaks his grip. Bring his hand around, apply pressure to his elbow, bringing him straight to the ground. Also apply pressure on his wrist, twisting his wrist. Watch again. Drive down hard on the top of the hand. The pain is inflicted. He lets go. Circular movement. Follow him down. Pressure is applied to the elbow and top of the wrist. Let's look at it again from a different angle. Notice the wrist lock. You must learn to defend yourself in today's society. You never know when assault can occur. Strike the top of the hand. Apply the wrist lock and elbow lock. Safe escape by keto self-defense number 22. Another rear assault. This time it's a headlock from behind. Take your free hand. Go under his nose. Pull his nose back. Strike into the groin. Very painful technique. Under the nose. Driving him back. Or grabbing the hair. Leaves the groin open, strike the groin, escape. With your finger, either reach under the nose, pushing his head back, or grab the hair and pull back. And strike. Watch it again. Safe Escape by Keto Self-Defense, number 23. Another fine, life-saving technique. In this situation, you're seated. You have an aggressive assailant pointing at you. Simply grab his finger, torque it back, break his finger. You have full control over him. Send him to the ground, kicking him in the chest, and escape.
Just because you're seated doesn't mean you're defenseless. Safe Escape Aikido Self-Defense, number 24. As he tries to grab your hair, put both hands on his wrist, push down, bringing him to the ground in a wrist lock, turning his palm to the sky. Take the pressure off your hair, follow up, keep turning his palm up, and step back as you drive him to the ground. all your pressure on the top of his hand. Very, very painful. Safe Escape, Aikido Self-Defense, number 25. In this situation, the assailant is trying to tackle you to the ground, which is a very common assault. Step back away from his force, bring your palms on top of him, and slap him to the ground. Let him use his own force against himself. Be alert, stay away, sidestep, step back. Get out of his line of fire. Slap him to the ground. Safe escape. Aikido self-defense number 26. Very, very important technique. As you're getting in your car and the assailant comes from behind, spins you around, tries to choke you. Twist the neck. Very deadly technique. Breaking the neck. Be very careful. Do not practice this with anyone. Exercise caution when training. As he spins you around, grab his jaw in the back of the neck, twist sharply, break, and escape. Reach in, hand to the jaw, to the back of the head, twist, take him down. You don't have to break the neck, you can control him. The pain is excruciating and he will not attack any further. You could hold him there all day. If he resists, just apply more pressure. Watch again. Palm under the jaw, twist sharply, holding the back of the head, escape. Whenever assaulted, contact the police, describe your assailant and the situation. Have it on record. Safe Escape, Aikido Self-Defense, number 27. Pay attention. It's a very lethal situation. A gun is pointed at your head from the front. Turn away to the side of the gun. Control the gun. Break his elbow on your shoulder. Watch again. Immediately get out of the line of fire by twisting away. Control the gun. Grab the wrist hand. Break the elbow on your shoulder. Again, controlling the weapon. Hold your opponent at bay. Twist out of the line of fire. Grab the wrist. Break the elbow. Take the gun. Control the situation. as a last resort, someone pulls a gun on you, comply with them to a point. 
But if you feel your life's in danger either way, make your move. Safe Escape, Aikido Self-Defense, number 28. Pay attention to this technique. This time a gun is pointed to the back of your head. Again, using the circular motions of Aikido, turn out of range of the gun, applying a choke, continuous motion, getting out of the line of fire, you control the shooting hand, applying a choke at the same time, bring him to the ground. Continuous circular motion can save your life. Get out of the line of fire. Safe Escape, Aikido Self-Defense, number 29. Again, the gun is held at the front. Lock it away. Come back with the wrist lock. Control the weapon, keeping it pointed at your opponent. Watch this technique again carefully. Step out of the line of fire. Slap the gun away. Apply a wrist lock. Turn his wrist down. Always pointing the gun at the opponent. If the gun fires, he'll shoot himself. Now execute it with tremendous speed and power. Slap it out of the line of fire. Apply the wrist lock. Safe Escape, Aikido Self-Defense, number 30. In this situation, the assailant comes from behind, applies a strangulation technique with a belt. Immediately strike his groin, throw him over, escape. You cannot hesitate. Your life is at stake in this situation, counter to the vital area of the groin, over your hip, escape. Don't panic. React. Punch into the groin or use an open hand chop. Safe Escape, Aikido Self-Defense, number 31. 31 ways to defend yourself so far. Pay attention. This is a deadly situation. An assailant has a bat. Again, using the circular motions of Aikido, sidestepping movements, go away from the force, go with the strike. Hook him behind the neck, use his body force against himself. It takes him to the ground. And then grab the weapon and control the situation. Don't try and meet force with force. Timing is crucial in this situation. Sidestep away from the force. Block, hook his neck, control him, flip him over, take the bat. Now, who's the winner?
Safe Escape, Aikido Self-Defense number 32. This defense is against a deadly knife assault. Pay close attention. Watch again. Immediately control the weapon. Slap it away. Grab his wrist. Apply the wrist lock. Take the weapon. In some situations, you must simply make your move. It's life or death. Grab and control the weapon. Twist his wrist sharply. Take him to the ground. Keep the wrist lock on. Control the weapon. Whenever a weapon is used, you must control the weapon. That's your first objective. Escape, Aikido Self-Defense number 33. As the knife comes down towards your head, block, control the knife hand, go underneath, apply the wrist lock. Block with your left, chop the neck with your right. Hold the knife hand, go underneath, twist. Grab the weapon. Circular motion. The circular motion applies the wrist lock. Causes tremendous pain into his wrist and shoulder. Move away from the force. Block and strike his neck, control the wrist, twist him around, and you're on top. Thank you for watching my videotape on Aikido Self-Defense. I hope it has given you great insight on how to escape from most self-defense situations unharmed. Please practice the techniques carefully and diligently, and they will serve you well. Thank you.